While Singaporeans remain fairly conservative on social and moral issues, they have become more liberal towards homosexuality in the last five years, particularly among the young. Now that's according to a paper by the Institute of Policy Studies that was released today, which looked at the evolving attitudes towards social and moral issues. Elizabeth Nyo with more. The paper, led by Dr. Matthew Matthews of the IPS, said results showed a thawing of attitudes towards homosexuality. 11.4% of respondents felt sexual relations between two same-sex adults was not wrong at all. This was more than double the 5.6% reported in 2013. Likewise, those who felt sexual relations between two same-sex adults was wrong was 50.4% in the latest survey, down from 61.6% .6 previously. When it came to same-sex marriages, 16.4% said it was not wrong at all, compared to 8.4% in 2013. Meanwhile, 48.5% said gay marriage was always wrong, down from 58.8%. There's quite a substantial portion of Singaporeans who uh, do not say that homosexuality is not wrong. Uh, they may not agree with homosexuality, but at the same time, uh, there's increasingly, I mean, considerations about the fact that there are, I mean, groups which campaign and feel strongly about their rights as individuals, as homosexuals. Uh, so I think people, I mean, are trying to be accommodating. But when it came to matters like infidelity and gambling, most agreed it was almost always wrong. Only 2.9% said having sexual relations outside marriage was not wrong at all, down slightly from the 3% previously, while 63.4% said it was always wrong, up slightly from 2013. On gambling, only 3.2% said it was not wrong at all, down by nearly half compared to previously, while more than half felt it was always wrong, compared with 53.8% in 2013. But attitudes have also shifted within cohorts. For example, in the case of gay marriage in 2013, about 11% of 55 to 59-year-olds believed that it was not wrong. Five years later, this increased to nearly 15% in the same cohort, now 60 to 64 years old. One sociologist says attitudes can change at different stages of life. So taking that in perspective, I think should encourage us not to polarize issues, you know, but appreciate that, you know, these are normative stands which uh, we seem to be standing on different sides of the platform at this point, at this moment in time. Surveys and studies like these are very important because it helps us to, you know, to have a good sense of where the shifts are and with that then it's important for us to guide the conversations so that the shifts do not result in fragmenting Singapore society. The survey was conducted in Singapore between August 2018 and January 2019 among some 4,000 Singaporeans and permanent residents. It considered factors like racial and religious identities.